Hey everyone, Dan Myers here for Reverb.com. So great to be here showing you a very cool new mandolin from Michael Kelly. This is the Legacy Dragonfly Flame Acoustic Electric Mandolin. Michael Kelly is a company based out of Florida and uh, their aim and their goal is to give you a custom and boutique sounding and looking instrument for an affordable price. Today we're looking at this one in particular. Let's check it out. Right off the bat, you take a look at it and it has the look of a custom boutique instrument that's been weathered and played for years. Everything from the aged tobacco fade to the uh, solid spruce top and uh, flame maple body. If we take a look at the neck here, it is a uh, maple neck and it has a beautiful inlay, typical of uh, Michael Kelly's instruments. Very playable, the action is good right out of the box. Uh, obviously, uh, you might want to uh, get it set up to your liking, but it's very playable right away. And essentially, you get the look and the custom boutique quality of an F-style mandolin for uh, an everyman's price. At this price point, you're gonna be hard pressed to find another instrument that has a Graftech tusk nut, Grover tuners, and a Fishman System 1 included. It's a great pickup for the stage, and we're gonna to get to the details on that in a second. Before we hear how this sounds, you might be thinking to yourself, why a mandolin? If you're a mandolin player, that's easy. But let's say you play guitar or violin, this is an excellent instrument to add to your arsenal. So if you're a guitarist, you're used to playing in minor thirds and fourths. This is a little bit different, you're playing in fifths. What that does for you is it challenges your brain to create new sounds, textures, melodies that you may not have uh, ever thought of and you already have the picking down. So go to it and create something cool. If you're a violin player, as soon as this video is over, you need to run out the door and go buy a mandolin because you already know how to play it. It's all in fifths, the same, same tuning. You just need to figure out the picking pattern and you're there. For me personally, as a multi-instrumentalist, uh, I started with violin, added piano, guitar. The mandolin was uh, late to the table as far as my awareness. And once I did pick one up and start writing with it, uh, it really increased my creativity and it took me out of the usual framework that I'm used to. So enough about me, let's hear the instrument. We're gonna give you a couple of setups. Here's the first, acoustic with the Shure KSM-313. Then we're gonna run it direct so that you can hear the Fishman System 1. And then we're gonna run it through an amp and pedals so you get an idea of that as well. Here it is acoustic. So right off the bat, you can tell an F-style mandolin as opposed to an A-style tends to have a more compressed and clamped sound. This one has a bolder sound than you would imagine, but at some point, you're gonna wanna plug it in and turn it up. So let's talk a little bit about the Fishman System 1. So the Fishman System 1 is a great pickup for the mandolin. Most mandolin pickups you find are piezo electric. This is not. It uses a coaxial element in a slot just under the saddle. What that does is give you a very resonant, natural, and responsive tone. It has controls for volume, bass, mids, and treble, and even has a handy onboard tuner. Here it is, DI, no effects. So sometimes the mandolin is only thought of in bluegrass or classical, but here's a couple pedals to show you that you can take yourself out of that sound and create a whole new texture palette. We're going to run it through a Boss Digital Delay, a Holy Grail reverb, and into an amp to give you an idea of the sound you can get out of it. So, Michael Kelly mandolins, the Legacy Series, great instrument, great price, you gotta check it out if you play mandolin or if you don't. We're gonna bring a couple guys in, we're gonna play some songs for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.